So I'm going to be quite honest with people who send me emails wanting to be part of my group, wanting to know about evolution and the Jilly Juice protocol, wanting to know my research. I would rather chase away a new person than have them be under a very specific expectation that this is just another cure, another fad. And so when somebody, so this is the thing, when somebody new emails me and I haven't seen them follow me on Facebook, I haven't seen like a follow or a friend request or haven't seen them lead in with, hey, I've been following you for a while and I like what you have to say. And I get this is a hard protocol. This is not easy. I have to deal with salt. I have to deal with water. I have to deal with hormones. I have to deal with predispositions. I have to deal with everything that is so uncomfortable. If someone doesn't lead in with that, where I know that, they, that they've that they done their research by either getting the book already or they've been following me, they're not asking, well, I want to be part of your group and I want to, you know, get your, I, 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 I want to know your research and their friends, there's they're some kind of mutual friend with somebody and they're like, oh, evolution of the Jilly Juice Protocol, oh, living indefinitely. And so they're, 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 they're responding to the different catchphrases that, yes, is a type of marketing on my end. But I would rather chase them away because I don't think they're prepared for what it takes. Because I have people who are who say they're on the Jilly Juice Protocol who are not really doing it because they know and they've been around my information for a while and they don't even do it. And so I'm thinking like if someone that I know, the people that have been around me for a while aren't really doing the Jilly Juice Protocol at the level that they should, this new person who is jumping on the bandwagon is not going to know what the hell they are getting themselves into. And so when I respond to an email, I'm like, if you want to do the protocol, you can't ask any questions. You have to get my latest book or all my books. If you want to see all my research, you have to abide by the latest protocol with the white salt. You can't bitch about your predispositions. You can't debate about the salt. You pretty much have to be silent and you have to do your own research. You have to watch my videos. You have to read the book. You have to look at what other people are saying and going through and you can't even ask them questions. You can't, you know, recommend any type of healing protocols, crystals or remedies or herbs or allopathic or holistic therapies. See, I don't think new people that email me know what the hell it is. And I don't want to train somebody. Because you know what? If I had to go and back to square one with every single new person who hasn't done their research, who hasn't been, you know, trying to find all the information through my website, through my books, through my business page, through following me on Facebook, they are sure not, they're not ready for the J Juice protocol. Because as soon as they do Jilly Juice, and they have all these different predispositions, they are going to be, you know, so shocked. And so, yes, I would rather. So it's interesting how, you know, I'm not like those, those, you know, those herbalists and those MLMers that are trying to bring you in and trying to, you know, uh, shower you with all this stuff by saying, oh, yeah, it's going to do this, do that. And you're gonna be, you know, no, I, I would rather chase away a new person. In a lot of ways, because I don't think they're ready. Because let me tell you, when you do the jelly juice, you have to fight for your life when you're doing the jelly. You know why? Because you're going to have to actually evolve. Right now, people who are not doing jelly juice are not really fighting for their life. They're just kind of dying slowly and they're okay with that. But when you do the jelly juice, you are actually fighting to live because you know that if you don't do the jelly juice, then you're going to end up just like your predecessors. Okay, so the thing is that if you really want to do jelly juice, you got to fight for doing jelly juice. You got to look beyond my harsh. My harsh response is because, yes, any new person, I don't want to make them think that this is easy. I don't make anyone think that this is the easiest thing ever. Oh, it's not. And some will know they can't do this because they don't have what it takes to fight for their own life. They've been so brainwashed and so conditioned to mitigate pain by taking out organs, by taking herbs, taking their drugs that either vasodilate or vasoconstrict their blood vessels. And then eventually they're going to end up with either 
hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or dilated cardiomyopathy with malabsorption and other whole host of issues when they're exposed to new viruses in the environment, plus then the ramifications of their lifestyle. See, and that's the thing. So in a lot of ways, that's why I'm really waiting. I don't like to add new people to my group, but someone private messaged me yesterday and they're like, yeah, I saw you on Dr. Phil. I think you're, you know, I think that you handled yourself well. And I gave them my time of day because I'm like, you know what? They private messaged me. Okay. I'll, t- you know, I'll be generous and I'll do that. And they understood. They watched Dr. Phil. They understood where I was coming from. They, you know, so I felt that they had, and they did. I mean, I think they asked one question yesterday. That's what prompted me to post that video or post that uh, post that we don't ask questions in my group. And I think they got it because really everything, and I don't think they got the book yet. They, yeah, they didn't get the book yet, but I still brought them in the group because I think that they really understand what to expect. They watched the Dr. Phil. So they understood what, how much fire I was under. They probably did enough background research on me to know that this is going to be very, this is so different than some cure out there that's being sold in an MLM group or some herbal group or some, you know, whatever therapy, whether it's crystal therapy or meditation or yoga or whatever, sauna, jumping into cold water. This is vastly different than all of that. You got to face your evolution. It's going to be so freaking painful for some of you because you have predispositions. But some of you, if, if you really have the strength in your, in your mind to overcome what your mind is trying to say, oh no, I don't want you to, I don't want to do this because I don't want to feel dead. Pain, but if you understand conceptually the, the the actual concepts behind Jilly Juice, then it'll be mind over matter. And even though your body is screaming and you're and you're having you know cramps and yet you're pooping and you know you have skin issues come up and whatever else because you're going through a heal you know evolution process, you'll still be able to stick with it without giving up. You'll stay with it. But if you haven't conceptually understand that you have to face your evolution, you have to face the pain and have it backed up with the right chemistry, if you don't understand that, then you will quit as fast as you started it. It'll be just another fad that you're like, oh God, Jilly Juice messed me up. Because there's enough of you out there that know about Jilly Juice, but are not doing it anymore. Because yes, you kind of got on the bandwagon a couple years ago, but then you were then, you know, distracted by some other shiny bobble out there, another fad. And then you got off the J juice. Okay. And then you're really, you know, now you're at even more of a deficit. You're even more behind the eight ball. And now you have this environment with the vaccinations and the virus going to make it more aggressive. It's going to be harder to heal. Not that it's impossible. It's not impossible, especially if you understand and have been following me. But it'll be very difficult for someone who doesn't conceptually understand the science behind the Jilly juice. And so, yes, right now I am going through what am I going through? I am in the process of substantiating why herbs, why certain allopathic or all allopathic and all herbs and all drugs, whether it's herbs are both contributors to cardiomyopathy because either vasodilate or they vasoconstrict. And then when you go in and you start tweaking your genome, start taking out organs, organ harvesting, which is energy harvesting, um, right, removing organs, of course, taking antibiotics and detoxes that will destroy your microbiome. You are, you are, you you are shortening your lifespan at an exponential rate. And so when, so yesterday when I was talking about melanin and why certain certain ethnicities have more hypertension, more high blood pressure, it's because their body's inability to absorb the UV rays to allow vitamin D hormones to then strengthen their bones and so what happens is is then they start taking vitamin D supplements then they get 
hypercalcemia, which is too much calcium absorption, causes vasoconstriction, then they got to take calcium channel blockers to then vasodilate, they are messed up. And then that's what contributes to hypertrophic or dilated cardiomyopathy. That's why people die of heart attacks. That's why people die of different um, lung issues, you know, strokes, lack of oxygen, you know, type um, blood types, blood type A and B. Some have more susceptibility to stomach cancer because, yes, the agonist antibodies are causing more. They're being fertilized. <laughs> it's like these agonist antibodies are fertilizing parts of the body that are um, not being suppressed by the sodium blockers, sodium channel blockers. And so you have a lot more growth in one area and then you have your sodium channel blockers that are dead in this one area. Then the agnus antibodies are then capitalizing on the areas that are alive and then they're encouraging more growth, more than the person can do. And that's why people get cancer because half their body is trying to evolve. The other half is fucking dead. So you wonder why cancer happens is exactly because people are participating in holistic and allopathic remedies that vasoconstrict, vasodilate, turn on and off the, the channels, binary code on and off um, the different channel blockers, as well as hormones, then causes vasoconstrictions or vasodilation, and then yes, heart issues are going to be in their future, if not already, because they do have predispositions. So everything is connected, and the holistic world is probably worse than the allopathic world, because the holistic world... They don't tell you this. Or, oh, yeah, it's all natural. Everything's fucking natural. But it's your intention behind it is the difference. And when you're taking herbs and spices, okay, so you can open up your blood vessels and so you can mitigate pain or constrict your blood vessels because you have migraines. You have migraines because your body, your brain is trying to evolve and then you constrict the blood vessels to cut off the blood flow and you wonder why people have, die of strokes. Because they keep constricting their blood vessels or dilating them so much that then it, the, 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 the blood vessels burst and they get aneurysms. See, you don't realize how fucked up the medical holistic industry is. Oh, but hey, you're making a shit ton of money off your friends and family if you're selling MLMs. Oh, but yeah, I'm telling you, people are ra rather be drug addicts than deal with their evolution. And they want to complain about or they like, want to sell, you know, all their little stuff. Because that quick, easy buck is so much easier than facing their own evolution and saving their friends and family. So that's why I get pissy when I see these little energy healers, these little MLM supplement, you know, oh yeah, you know, COVID-19 cure, here's a vitamin D. So you can then encourage hypercalcemia. So you can encourage cardiomyopathy. Oh no, no, but... They're not doctors, so they wouldn't know this. Well, there's a reason why you don't recommend supplements and herbs and things for people on the fucking internet. And that's why Zuckerberg is trying to close down certain groups. Because I'm telling you, people don't know what the hell they're doing. And it shows. So, I am who I am. I would rather chase away a new person than have them be under the impression that this is some easy little protocol. Oh, it's not. This is not an easy protocol. It'll take several tries before you actually stick with it. But I don't want to be ever accused of misinforming someone that this is some latest and greatest easy cure. Oh no, cures are, are the deadening of the body. When you actually bring life to your body, you're going to feel pain. And if you're looking <laughs> to do jelly juice to mitigate pain, you're barking up the wrong tree. Go see your doctor. They have plenty of pain-free type of protocols. They'll take out organs. They'll anesthetize you. They'll find ways to give you, you know, brain freezes and whatever else that they can do to make you feel like a zombie so you don't feel anything until your vital organs give out. So if you don't want to feel pain, go see your doctor. But if you want to actually face your life, you're going to have to deal with your demons. And I won't make it easy for people because it's not going to be easy. This is an independent venture where you actually have to have it within you to read my information. Because I'm telling you, my, my latest book is like a pamphlet. My next book is going to be like a freaking Bible. But there's going to be something else in the future that I'm going to be doing with somebody else that's going to be better 
for you as well. So I'm going to make sure there'll be something easy to down the road. But I'm just telling you, it's not that difficult to read a thin pamphlet of my book and to follow the directions. Okay. And so if that isn't up your alley and you want someone to, to baby you and walk you through and tell you how to do every step of the way, then you need to see a doctor who then you can pay to take up their time to do that. Nobody in my group is being paid to baby anyone in my group. That's why it's not an active group. That's why you don't see people asking questions. And you know why? Because I stop that right away. I don't want anyone being the answer man or the answer woman. There is occasional that will be the answer person because, and, and, and that'll happen. But all in all, the intent of my group is not to have anyone have more power than somebody else. You all have equal access to the same information and be just as powerful as the other person. You have that option. But as soon as you start asking a bunch of questions, expecting someone else to have the answers for you, you might as well go back into the holistic allopathic world and give away your power to somebody else. Oh yeah, Yvette, we're in a depopulation agenda. And you're watching it before your very eyes. So they'll make it easy and they'll make it hard, okay? Because our government and the mainstream media have to play both sides of the fence. Because they do want to call the population, but they do want some people living. You have to earn your place on this earth. If you don't, if you can't evolve on your own, believe me, Mother Nature is taking care of those that cannot evolve on their own. I'm telling you, we are in a Darwinian type of evolutionary depopulation which sounds like it's oxymoronic, but it's true. But you have a choice, and that's the difference. When you didn't know about Jeju, you didn't have a choice because you had a choice between holistic and allopathic, and it was the same side. It was two sides of the same coin. There was no difference between the two. But now you have Jilly Juice. And so those that know about Jilly Juice, you will either do it or you won't. That's it. But it's not easy. And I'm not going to make it easy for people who don't know about this because they have to do their homework. If they don't do their homework, they don't deserve the benefits. Plain and simple. Take care. Goodbye.